Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about the process of wireframing. So wireframing in design is the process of creating a simplified visual representation of, let's say, a web page or a mobile app or an interface. Uh, and it's an essential step in the early stages of the design process. And it can serve as a, a blueprint for the final product. So wireframes are typically created using very simple shapes, lines, basic text to outline the structure, the layout, maybe the functionality of the page without delving into the finer detail like colors, images or typography. So I've done this in the past uh, alone and also in groups. It's really, really easy because you can use pen and paper and anyone can participate in this process. So I've dug out a really rough example from one of my old projects. Uh, I'll put that on the screen now. Uh, I think it was for a app called Build a Bike and it was a personal project, so I wanted to put together some screens. So as you can see, these are quickly sketched out. They're very rough and they give me an idea of maybe how the flow is gonna go, the structure of the page, maybe where images are gonna go, call to actions and so on. So something to mention here, it's good to be consistent and maybe have some structure to the wireframe. So I would make elements consistent. So maybe for images, you would have the shape and then you would just put an X inside them to indicate that it's an image. For text, you could just use squiggly lines. And for buttons, you could just create a square with a squiggle in it, or you could actually write the text in. Completely up to you, but it's good to create these things consistently. So when you look back at them, you know exactly what an image is, exactly what text is, and exactly what the buttons are. So that's a really low fidelity wireframe. Hi, it's Mitch. Thanks for getting this far in the video. Be awesome if you could like or subscribe or add some comments as this really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, thanks again and back to the video. So taking it one step further, maybe you want to go to a mid fidelity wireframe. So something that's got a little bit more detail, looks a little bit more refined. So you can download templates to use. I've got a few of the templates here. So there's a browser screen. So here's a set of browsers on one A4 page. There's an iPad mockup. I've got four iPads on one page and then it goes into the mobile wireframes. So as you can see, there's a little bit more refined and that's why they're kind of mid fidelity wireframes. So sometimes it's good to stay at this mid fidelity level in case you're getting more feedback from your customers and things are changing around with the layout and having the ability to move quickly and just rub something out and you know, sketch in a new design is really, really helpful. So I guess from here you would go into higher fidelity wireframes and that's probably where something like Figma would come in handy. So you could take these designs that you've sketched out and pop them into Figma. What I'm gonna do now is jump into the computer and show you where I got these wireframe templates from in case you wanna download them. Okay, jumping back into the computer, I'm on sneakpeekit.com. It provides free templates, printable templates for wireframing. So you've got different precision grids, browser grids, four up browser plus grids, all the things that I showed you just a moment ago that you can use when wireframing. So I find these wireframing kits really useful. They're all free. So shout out to the person who created the website and these templates, you've done a great job. And as you can see, there's been plenty of downloads. There's information on the license uh, and various things at the bottom that I would encourage you to check out before using them. But yeah, that is sneakpeekit.com. Check it out. It's gonna help you with your wireframing when you go maybe to the mid-level fidelity of wireframes. Okay, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments how you wireframe, what tools you use, and do you have any resources that you can share that will take your wireframe into the next level? So drop those in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you. Okay, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, add some comments, and I will see you in the next video.